There's a spider in my bathroom I've had around for a while now, and I've taken to putting other bugs in her web or trapping them in there so she can catch them. She was just dining on a little black beetle I left for her last time I visited. I pretend we're dating and tell her about my day while she eats. I have showered in front of her, act shy about it, and sometimes get hard under her gaze. Just sometimes. Why are people on 4chan so insane? Be me. 14 years old at the time. Had masturbation addiction. For some reason wanted to fuck snow. Winter comes. Fuck yeah, JPEG. Go outside after a blizzard. Find a spot where no one can look outside my windows and see what I'm doing. Made snow tits and snow gina. Start going ham. Feels good, but also painful at the same time. Neighbor's house is pretty far away, but has a window that could possibly see what I'm doing. Decide that it's not worth it to risk it. Pull out. Dick is a palish purple. Oh fuck. Go inside. Get a hair dryer and turn it on. Start to fade away and turn back to a normal color. Dick hurts like hell for the next three weeks. Never fucking snow again. I'm pretty sure this is called natural selection. Be me. Fimbot on Tinder. Go on date with a moid. We meet up. He pays for the meal. Gives me flowers. Seems super eager to take me home. We get back to his place. Go to his room. He literally gets down on his knees and begs me to allow him to lick my asshole. There's no way that was a real woman. This is, have you ever heard a woman say moid? Be me, go to Twitch. Make a new account with real name. Search for low viewer female streamers. Click follow. Nine out of 10 times, she will say my name and some cutie shit. Save the clip. Every time I need some human interaction, I just open a video of a cutie pie saying my name. My face when I cheated the system. I bet this one actually did happen. Have imaginary GF. Gives me tons of love and support. Always there for me. Understands me like nobody ever could. Can trust her like I could nobody else. Helps me turn my life around. Prevents a metric ton of self-destructive behavior. Never ages or gets ugly or fat. Would blow me every morning if I let her. This is all somehow bad and unhealthy because she isn't real. They just don't like seeing men win, Anon. Cashier talks to me for more than one, one minute. Start to fantasize about our life together. Why am I like this? I like how you can tell that Anon wrote this while having a manic episode because he misspelled like four words. Be me, 14 year old beta. Mom died when I was a kid. Dad sucks. Whatever story time. About three years ago, doing homework. At the time, rooming with a cutie pie, German girl. Usually pretty mean to me. Being nice for once, so I just appreciate the silence and steady. She starts talking to me randomly. Hey, Anon, do you want to kiss me? I say, what? A kiss. Have you never kissed a girl? I nodded yes. Then let's kiss. Autism kicks in. I ask, but why? Because I'm bored, Anon. I ask if that's even a reason. You don't want to kiss on the anniversary of your mother's death, Anon? Afraid she's watching from heaven? My face went, yo, what the fuck? This is official art. Did someone at Gynex have an adult woman fetish? Adult woman fetish? fell for the piss down the air conditioner floor vent meme. Urine accumulates at the bottom of the vent and not all of it evaporates. Smell won't go away, so now parents questioning it. All I wanted to do was be able to piss at my desk with no cleanup. Every one of you assholes said it would be fine. And I should try using a water bottle next time. Be 38 year old. Have nothing to show for myself. No money, no property, no life. The only thing I can offer to someone is my physical body, company, and emotional support. That's worth less than nothing. I spent my whole life telling myself I don't need money or things to be happy, only to realize that no one else will feel that way and want to be with me. Office bully starts trying to fuck with me. Instantly horned and masturbate at home to fantasy of him getting physical. Start trying to coax him into doing it more and getting physical. He immediately realizes what I'm trying to do and stops. Starts bullying somebody else. Damn it. Poor Anon. Third grade. Grew up with dad, had an absentee mom. Told me to hit people back if they hit me first. Didn't tell me it doesn't apply to girls. In class, a roasty talked shit to me for no reason. Politely told her to stop, kept talking shit. She eventually shoves me. Who the fuck is this bitch? Slam one on her face. Flies across the room, knocked unconscious with her skull cracked and starts to bleed. Class runs away in fear of me. Principal comes down, screams at me and calls the cops. Got fired later that day. Fuck. Link is a gay icon, and Zelda fans know it.
Being an effeminate man doesn't make you gay. That's toxic masculinity, chud. LOL, Link is gay because he's effeminate. Why are journos like this? I think Anon's been thinking about Link's sexuality for too long. 2010, be me. 14 years old. Me and my mom are going to visit my mom's childhood friend who lives in the countryside. I slip and fall in a bog. We go into the house. My mom asks her friend if I can have a bath. Mom's friend says that her two daughters, aged 10 and 12, will be having a bath, but that I am welcome to join them. I refuse the offer. My mom ignores me and tells her friends that I'll have the bath. I beg my mom not to make me have a bath with her friend's daughters. She tells me I have to because I'm covered in mud and smell bad. I reluctantly go into the bathroom and strip naked. My mom's friend's two daughters come into the bathroom in swimsuits. Both of them start giggling when they see me naked and I tell them to shut up. We have a bath together. How do I confront my mom and explain to her why what she did to me was child abuse? I want an apology, and I don't think she understood what she did was wrong. That was probably the last time a woman ever saw Anon naked. Hello, I want to be a girl. Are there any sort of wizards or spells or some sort of fancy science that can turn me into a real girl besides estrogen injections because they are too slow? There's a simple ritual, but it's a bit painful. Don't listen to the haters, Anon. Be me, at my dad's office workshop, Wasp starts flying around me. Pick up Verne Caliper, pick related. Follow the Wasp around for the next minute. It lands on the glass table. Set the Caliper, ready to strike. Guillotine the Wasp. The body crawls around for a bit and then dies. I have traced my ancestry back to France. I'm... I'm just terrified of women. I used to blame looks, then I saw ugly motherfuckers with girlfriends. Then I blamed awkwardness, but then I saw awkward guys with girlfriends. Then eventually I just realized, I'm actually just terrified of women. Yet, I want a girlfriend. It's like admiring a tiger or something from afar. You can find it fascinating and beautiful, but once it gets close, you become afraid. Never approached? Never had a dating app account? No female friends? No female co-workers? Avoid eye contact with women when outside? Never speak to them? Living that gynophobic life. Journalist at a local shitty news channel. Channel sends me to cover a medical convention happening in town with over a hundred medical professionals gathered from around the country talking about America's poor maternal health care. Notice something odd. They keep referring to women as birthing people. Q&A session. Ask a question and use the term pregnant woman in it. Thank you, Mr. Anon, for that question. I will first ask everyone to please use the term birthing people instead of women in this context to be more inclusive. Then answers my question. Weird. Anyway, I guess it's true. Women aren't real. Walk into Chick-fil-A in a rich white neighborhood and five 10 out of 10 college chicks walk in behind me. Get in line and one of them asks me if I know a girl that works at a hotel nearby. Say no. Couple seconds go by. She says that she looks like me and is really cute. Ask if I want to see her. Say not right now. Ask if I want her snap instead. Say sure. They look at their phone for a bit, then say they don't have her number. And if I would want her number instead. Uh, sure? Couple seconds go by and she asks if I have a girlfriend. Say no. Line moves up and they start ordering. And I do too. Say the name for my order and go sit down. They sit across from me. Get my food and walk to the door. As I'm leaving, she yells my name a couple times. I ignore it and just walk out. They were gonna kill me, right? Nobody just walks up and asks you if you know someone that works at a hotel. Did I just escape some cartel organ farming plot? They all got a good look at me, so I've been hiding at home for a couple days. Be me, 21. Living with fiance who I had been dating for about a year. Thinks she was 40, but finds her passport and it turns out she's actually 48. Says she lied because she loved me too much to risk me not dating her. She also lied about being on the pill, when she was actually infertile in case I wanted kids. What am I in for marrying her? She says I'm saving her from dying alone and can never leave her even if I stop liking her. She's fat and has no children, by the way. She pays for everything. It's gonna be great. No red flags at all. Do it. Fuck, dude. That's a catch. Be me. About to enjoy a night watching Shrek 2. Got my popcorn. Sitting in my chair with a blanket. The dear man starts speaking loudly in the voice of my deceased mother outside, trying to lure me outside. I just wanted to relax. There's this girl who used me as a rebound. For five days, we were in my bed fucking and talking about life. Now I can tell that she doesn't really want anything to do with me. How do I overcome this intense desire to be with her? 
Do I pretend she doesn't exist? Do I try to better myself for her? Do I off myself? For the last few days, I've wanted to throw up over the desire to have her. Move on. Find somebody else. Better to have love and loss than to never loved at all. How do I meet women at 24? A hundred percent male workplace, a hundred percent male hobbies, 90 percent male nightclubs and bars, zero women under 30 every time I go outside. I'm sure women just disappear the moment they leave school and respawn with the child 10 years later. Maybe Anon should stop looking for women at gay bars. Have you ever been scammed? I feel dumb losing $40 to a fake hooker. Be me, walking at night, smoking six. Woman asks for one, looks like a hooker, offers a blowjob for $40. I agree. Pay her. She just walks off. I follow her. She goes back to some group. The fuck you following her for? I said she just took my $40. Realize it's a fucking scam. I'm outnumbered so I leave. And I should have just fought them to get his 40 bucks back. Brother is in a furry telegram chat. He's on his phone all day just texting random furries in our area. His phone is constantly blowing up with notifications. Literally every five seconds there's a telegram notification. I've glanced at his phone once while he wasn't looking, and it's all RP messages. One day he starts acting really skittish. He's somehow talking less to our parents and acting even more like a brick wall than he usually is. He buys really expensive lip balm and body spray, and he's also dressing up way nicer than he usually does. He changes his Discord PFP to a crude drawing of his fursona with a bisexual flag in the background. Mom tracks his phone and he's skipping college classes on a daily basis. He gets infuriated whenever anyone brings up Telegram or the strangers he's been talking to. What am I going to do if he suddenly brings his fat fur EBF home? Will my fridge be safe? At a loss right now. I've been stalking this random guy on Reddit for a few months now, just following his profile and replying to his comments in various subreddits. He replied to most of them and after a while he realized it was the same guy replying to him constantly. At first he did the typical let it, hey friendo, fancy seeing you here, seems we like the same heckin subreddits. But now he's stopped replying. This means he's finally creeped out by me and might have blocked me, but even if he has blocked me, he'll still see blocked user underneath all of his comments. My goal is to either make him have a mental breakdown or force him to create a new Reddit account. If he creates a new account, I have an AI tool where I can paste all of his comments and compare it to the comments on the various subreddits he visits. So I'll be able to track him down again. My replies to his comments aren't mean or anything. I usually agree with him on everything. I just make sure he knows I'm always watching him. Get wisdom teeth removed. Go home high as shit. Get on computer. Go to YouTube. Really want to listen to Led Zeppelin. I don't even listen to them regularly. Keep typing in Led Zeppelin, but nothing Led Zeppelin related is coming up. Get mad. Go to bed. Sleep for like 12 hours. Wake up. Go to delete my browsing history like I usually do. Loop Soup searched on YouTube 25 times. I thought I was typing in Led Zeppelin. Thanks for watching.